I'm Jay Young, president of the Elkridge Harford Hunt Club. Elkridge Harford Hunt Club is a club that has its roots in the early America, um, the Baltimore Hunt Club that evolved into the Elkridge Hunt Club that was located at the Mondalman Mall, believe it or not, and moved out uh, all the way to Charles Street, then Timonium, then found itself here in a merger with the Harford Hunt in the 1920s and uh, we have been here ever since. Mondalman was the first master of the Elkridge hunt. His farm was where the hunt was originally located. Fox hunting, as it, as it came over from England, of course, George Washington was a fox hunter, and the, and the, uh, the sport evolved because um, the fox is to the country what a rat is to the city. A fox would be something that would ravage your, your um, livestock and, and uh, chickens and sheep and things like that, so they began hunting the fox to eliminate the fox to keep the fox from damaging their livestock. And that evolved into a sport that ended up, uh, you know, having people join as a group and go across the countryside, and it evolved into more formal packs like ours, which is recognized by the Masters of Foxhounds Association. And those clubs began to be formed and organized and exist throughout the country in various forms. They hunt differently, obviously, in desert in California where they hunt wild boar. Um, in uh, the Carolinas there's a lot of coyote so they hunt coyote and around here we hunt the red fox. Formal season starts November 1st and goes through uh, the beginning of April. There are about 150 members of the club and the field can consist of as many as 75 or 80 if the weather conditions are uh, very good or there is an event, a Thanksgiving Day hunt or an opening meet or, or a celebration of some kind, that tends to bring people out uh, in larger numbers. When it's January and it's 30 degrees blowing wind, uh, the fields are more like 20. Um, but that's about as small as we get. What would happen in a, in a hunt here is the, um, the members would receive a notice uh, at the beginning of the month called a fixture card and that would tell you where the hunt is meeting the three days a week that we hunt, and then everyone would assemble at that location, and the huntsman would bring the hounds in the truck or walk them if it's close enough, and everyone would assemble, and the huntsman would uh, gather the hounds, and uh, he'd be on horseback, obviously, and he would go to the first location where he thinks a fox might be in what's called a cover or a natural area would be, be a natural habitat for the fox, and he would cast the hounds or send them into that cover, and they would try to smell out a fox. These, these hounds are scent hounds, not sight hounds, and they would pick up the scent of a fox. Their presence would probably cause the fox to leave that area, so then they follow after the fox. The huntsman then follows after um, the hounds in, in a totally natural progression, and then behind them is the master of foxhounds, who is the person who is in charge of the people. If we come across the fence, we jump it. If we cross, come across the stream, we cross it. And we basically follow uh, the fox wherever he goes. Um, the end of the chase is usually a fox going into a hole, either a foxhole or um, a, 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 any other animal that, that bores a hole. Um, it would go into that hole and the hounds would surround it. The huntsman gets off of his horse and praises them for doing that. And then you go on to, to another another quarry. The, the, um, the fox is rarely killed. Um, if the fox is killed, it's generally a fox that has um, either old or ill in some way. Um, there's a reason why they call them sly foxes and they also, quite frankly, move faster than a hound does. Um, so there's, there's actually probably a, far more foxes killed on the highways than there are ever in the course of a fox hunt. Our, our goal is not to kill the fox, it's to chase the fox. We actually do things like take care of foxes. Um, people will, will feed them in bad weather or if a mange shows up, they will, they'll put medication in food and put it out for the foxes. So the goal isn't to kill the fox, it's really the, the celebration of the natural chase, the, the, the sort of instinct, if you will, of um, the, the hounds chasing the fox and then the people chasing the hounds. The economics are increasingly challenging, as you can imagine, trying to feed 100 hounds and 20 horses and maintain a property like this. But um, we're fortunate to be uh, the second oldest club in the country. Um, we own the property. There's no mortgage. The facilities have been here. 
Um, the, the club is well run and attractive uh, to its membership, so we get very good support from our members. It's Like I say, it's a challenge, but um, we're surviving and we're trying to preserve a tradition, and so far we're doing pretty well. At